Welcome to the chapter Smart Tables. This slide presents the overview of the chapter. Learning Objectives By the end of this chapter, you will be able to Identify the counting of numbers by using tally mark. Explain about the tally marks. Discuss the advantages of tally marks. Solve the problems in image-based tally marks. Introduction Here some children are randomly picking some balls from the bowl. The table represents how many times each ball has been taken out from the bowl by the children. Each time taking out the ball is represented by a single line. It might be difficult for us to count each of the line if the number of times of taking out the ball is increasing. Here if we see counting 8 might look easy but counting 24 is not so easy. Hence to overcome this problem we group the 5 lines as a set and that could make our counting easier. Let us make 5 lines as a set. The first 4 lines have to be drawn as vertical lines and the 5th line should be drawn diagonally across the previous 4 lines. Now, we know that each set represents the number 5 and the remaining can be counted easily. This way of counting the numbers is called tally marks. The table represents the tally marks written by the boy. Count the number and type them in the appropriate boxes. Click on the submit button to verify your answers. Observe the table and answer the following questions. Now see an example problem. The following pictograph shows the number of students class-wise in five different classes. Here scale 1 image represents the 5 students. Which class has minimum and maximum number of students? How many more students does class 2 have as compared to class 5? What is the total number of students in all the 5 classes? The solution is as follows. Class 1 and 2 have the maximum number of students, 35 students each. Similarly, Class 5 has the minimum number of students, that is 20 students. Class 2 has 15 students more than Class 5. There are 145 students all in the 5 classes. Let us do an activity on image-based tally marks. Look at the following table and answer the given questions. Summary Let us recap the highlights of this chapter. We have seen how to count the numbers by using tally marks. We have also learned the counting of numbers using image-based tally marks. Practice zone Try to solve the problems in the practice zone on your own. Follow-up work the following chart shows the sales of balls during a week. Write any three conclusions from the above chart. Evaluation Test your understanding of the chapter by taking the mock unit test. You have successfully completed the chapter Smart Tables.